Hey, good morning, six people. How are you guys? I have spent the last few days freezing my butt off thanks to global warming. Right, global warming. Um, uh, freezing my butt off, uh, falling out pipes in houses that we own or work on. Um, and problem everywhere here in Pittsburgh right now, um, thanks to global warming. Um, you know, if you're watching this years from now, I would like to apologize uh, for my dopey generation that spent 40 years on feel-good science, um, and uh, uh, rather than than uh, finding solutions, good energy solutions like this, solar power and wind power and wave power. Oh my God, I can't apologize enough to your generation that we wasted millions and billions of dollars on that bull crap. Um, rather than finding better ways, cleaner ways, ways to be better stewards of our planet with the energy energy sources we have at readily have at hand, um, it's it amazes me. You know, you know why aren't we spending more resources learning to burn coal and use coal more efficiently and use uh, um, you know all fossil fuels more efficiently and cleaner. Uh, with higher standards, higher regulations. Nah, we're going to spend money on wind farms. Drive up by Somerset, Pennsylvania. Giant windmills that just sit there. Don't even move. Giant. I mean giant. And that's thanks to people who believe in causes like causes. Not science, causes. And when they figured out it wasn't global warming, they changed it to climate change, right? Well, I can't dispute that. The climate does change, right? Jeez. And it all goes back to my dopey, stupid generation. Back when I was in eighth grade, it was called ecology then. Um, our concern for the ecology. From me, right, to Marvin Gaye. But anyway, I won, I won, a, I won an award in eighth grade. Um, um, big prize, right? I drew a poster of a distraught bird named Woodstock sitting in a tree, and he was looking down at his buddy, this dog, Snoop. No, not Snoop Doggy Dog. Different dog. Um, and the caption was, pollution isn't for the birds. And I won the award. Yay! Uh, and I apologize for that. Um, and, uh, you know... And then, so we've had this dopey, feel-good, stupid science, rather than finding solutions. So I apologize. Now, back to my generation. The guy who actually started Earth Day, it's of my generation, who started Earth Day, where the whole planet comes to a stop and we celebrate the wonder that is Mother Earth. Well, that guy right now uh, is in the Houtsdale Federal Pen 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 Penitentiary up in my hometown, up near my hometown, in Houtsdale. And my buddy Randy serves him his dinner every day. Um, because, um, because he, Mr. Earth Day, um, uh, he murdered his girlfriend and put her in a trunk, like you do. And uh, so there you go. Um, there's probably someone far more clever than me I uh, could probably really put a moral to the story there. Uh, something to do with that. I'm sure it's, I would love to hear from somebody who could wrap that up very cleverly. Um, uh, no knock knock jokes. Not fun. Um, okay, so, um, all right, so I'm going to go freeze my poop off. All right, and I'm going to go over to my buddy Al Gore and fall his pipes out. You know he invented the internet, right? Oh, um, so. Uh, that's what I'm going to head over to Al's now and take care of that. Have a good day. Peace. Peace 60.